Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Thursday's Daily Bible Study, coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a powerful and wonderful lesson today. Jesus follows followers are light. Jesus followers are light. Coming from Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. Amen. Jesus followers are light. They were light and we are. We are the light of the world. Amen. This is a great and powerful lesson reminding us of who we are. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started with this great lesson. But before we get started, I'm going to ask each of you if something is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together as a body of Christ, studying together as a church in the Lord. Uh, com coming together to meditate and study on his word that we may be more proficient in doing the word and not just hearers only as we put it in the word in our heart that we may not sin against him. Amen. This is a powerful lesson. We're going to get ready and get started, but first we're going to have prayer, then we're going to move right into this lesson. Amen. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father, that you are wonderful and that you are so powerful and great. We thank you, Father, that you are our everlasting Father and our Prince of Peace, Father. We thank you that you're wonderful and that you are a counselor, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do in each of our lives. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father. Father. Lord, as we come to you today, giving you thanks for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, watching over us day and night, leading us and guiding us in your true path of righteousness, guiding our thoughts and our action and our tongue, Father. And we thanking you and giving you glory, Father, that through your grace and mercy that we do have the strength and the courage as we know that all things are possible through Christ who strengthens us, that we are doers of your word and not just hearers only. Father, we come to you today asking, seeking, and knocking, Father, that you would open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high as we study and meditate on your word, Father, that it may go with us and be with us, Father, that it will be a part of our life and our thought pattern. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to move right into the lesson. Jesus followers are light. Jesus' followers are, are light. Coming from Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. And the scripture lesson text read, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that area in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen, amen, amen. Such a great and powerful statement. This, this is a few verses uh, right here. These, just these three verses reminds us of, of who we are. Who we are. We are a light to the world. We are a light wherever we go. What type of light are we showing? Are we showing a dark light or a light from Christ? Amen. Are we allowing the right and the righteous things that come from our mouth? Are we uh, not harboring uh, hatred and, and discontent in our heart? Are we asking forgiveness and giving forgiveness unto our neighbor and to our fellow co-workers in the name of Jesus? Amen. This is being a light to the world. This is showing them how God wants his people to be a blessing to all those that come that we come in contact with. Amen. Commentary says, you are the salt of the earth. Mankind laying in ignorance and wickedness were as a vast heap, ready to purify, putrefy. But Christ sent forth his disciples by their lives and the doctrines to season it with knowledge and grace. If they are not such as they should be, they are as salt that has lost its savor. If a man can take 
up the profession of Christ and, and yet remain graceless. No other doctrine, no other means can make him profitable. Our light must shine by doing such good works as men may see. What is between God and our souls must be kept to ourselves, but that which is is of that is of itself open to the sight of men, we must study to make suitable to our profession and praiseworthy. We must aim at the glory of God. Amen, amen. We must aim at God's glory. And whatever problems and situations that we have to work on, we don't put them out in the public to allow it to bring those that may see us to cause them to stumble. Amen. We must keep those things to ourselves and speak to God about them. Ask someone that's um, close to us in prayer to get with us, to help us to pray through the situation of whatever we are dealing with. And as we do so, we get stronger in Christ. We'll get stronger in his word. Amen. And it blesses us as it blesses others. Amen. This is a great and powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless each of you. Amen.